What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another... Where's my camera? I'm looking all over the place. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. Today we are going to be taking a look at the vis Visionary Pass Showtime players, right? So we're going to try and change this up a little bit now and instead of doing individual guides, we're going to just throw all these in together because they're very similar players. They're kind of going to all play the same way um, and I would say that apart from Modric who can't really shoot, uh, Griezmann and De Bruyne are extremely similar. Now, first thing is, right, what does this actually um, mean, this visionary pass new skill? So these players have got visionary pass player skill which increases the accuracy of first time ball controls, one touch passes and one touch finishes of players who receive passes from the holder of this player skill. So simply put, if you've got Modric and you've got De Bruyne as two AMFs or a centre midfielder and an AMF, and you're passing the ball into Haaland or you're passing the ball to Adriano or Romario or from corners or anything, first time shots are boosted and first time controls and one touch passes and shots from the player you're passing to, um, not from De Bruyne or Griezmann, but from the players you're actually passing to, um, are going to get a boost and a buff to that. So it's whatever player receives the pass from the player that you're seeing here, Griezmann, De Bruyne or Modric, who has this visionary pass player skill. So we're going to make this short and sweet, lads, right? There's no point talking too much fluff about it because we've reviewed De Bruyne a lot. We've reviewed kind of creative playmakers a lot as well, right? Unwavering form, really good player card, one touch pass, true passing. He doesn't have a low lofted pass, which is a little bit of a concern if you're playing AMF and you use that and you don't even realize you use it. Um, sorry, he does have low lofted pass, my, my apologies, um, but he doesn't have uh, double touch, sorry, uh, De Bruyne does have low lofted, it's my bad, um, but he does have soul control, but he doesn't have double touch, right, so if you're used to playing with low lofted pass, um, De Bruyne is really, really key at that type of pass that goes in low, um, it is obviously Griezmann I'm thinking about that does not have the low lofted pass, right, but he's a whole player, so we'll get into that in a second, so not to confuse you, but De Bruyne, um, I would like to see one touch pass and first time shot with De Bruyne as well to make him a little bit more overpowered, but it's a phenomenal card. I mean, when we go over to eFootball DB here, you've got 28 levels that you can train up. This is a monster card, lads, trust me. This is an insane card. You've got 13 into dexterity. Again, people will be saying, oh, why are you making his speed? He doesn't need to be fast. It's not for speed. It's for balance and offensive awareness. You want De Bruyne in the pocket of space that is going to be right before um, you're taking shots or, you know, popping shots in um, or whatever way you want to look at it, right? Um, actually, I'll turn that webcam off. It's a different setup. So yeah, you want De Bruyne to be, you know, kind of that classic Lampard uh, role where you're kind of coming into the middle of the pitch and coming into the box and taking shots first time, right? If you don't shoot and if you don't actually take that many shots at all, really, you can actually get rid of that. 72 finishing is more than enough for your attack and midfielder. And I would either do two things, right? Yeah, so as I said, if you aren't shooting a lot, right, you can literally just upgrade this just a little bit more. And then I would also probably put the ball control at 90. Um, acceleration at 80, kick and power at 87. If you are shooting a lot, but you don't want to waste any stats, like you could put one more into shooting. You could also, if you want to, if you're comfortable enough with the passing and the dribbling being at that to get the boost, you could pop two more into dexterity. Again, that's going to bring up his balance to 85, acceleration to 82, but that all-important offensive awareness there, right? Same with Griezmann, okay? Griezmann is a super sub, so you can bring him on as an impact player. That's how I would train Griezmann, exact same. Um, maxing out to dexterity, getting the dribbling up, getting the speed at 75. All these players have a minimum speed 75. So that's where I'd go with that. Um, Griezmann follows the same path, right? He gets a little bit better finishing and shooting. But again, if you don't shoot with Griezmann, he's got a base without even upload, upgrading that. He's got a base 75 stat there. And with the rest of his player skills, like acrobatic finishing, first time shot, you're not going to be really using Griezmann much more than that. You're going to be using him as kind of the main man to pass it to get the boost off onto the other players, right? So I would, again, I would definitely kind of boost up his dexterity as best as possible uh, because you're going to be on the ball a lot with him if you're used to playing with the likes of Pedri or the likes of Eze or the likes of guys that are able to really dominate uh, with balance and stuff and then to get the offensive awareness up for the runs because he's a whole player, you don't actually need to go that high with that. So you could turn it into the dribbling if you wanted to get the boost to low pass and tight possession and have the ball control offensive awareness all up in the 92 zone. So that is something to keep in mind there. And then you can also pop one on for lower body. 
you really need to make a decision whether you're going to shoot or not with De Bruyne and Griezmann. But try out different builds. You could try out a different build of him. Um, Modric is kind of more uh, streamlined because you, you won't be able to shoot with, with Modric anyway. So we're going to max out his dexterity in terms of even if you take, you know, if you put 10 into shooting or 13 into shooting, you're still only going to get it to 77 overall. So I would actually max out his dexterity to get his offensive awareness and his balance up as best as possible. You're going to have a 99 balance there, but you're also going to have 86 acceleration. Modric is one of those hidden players in the game that not quite, not quite a hidden gem. I don't mean a hidden player that way, but a lot of people don't use him and he's absolutely insane, especially certain cards like this, right? If you know how to use him. Biggest problem with a lot of the Modric cards are the fact that even his player of the weeks and uh, this one here had 81 acceleration, this one at 77, right? Even though he's down as an orchestrator, you do need to really kind of like manipulate the offensive awareness by having it as high as possible. And that's automatically going to bring up his acceleration. Like you're going to have an 88 rated acceleration Modric when you do have the boost on this, the player form boost, as well as having every other stat apart from dribbling in the high in the mid 90s with 99 balance, 82 stamina and 75 speed. Like it's insane. If you are playing Modric as kind of like a run and gun, um, I would definitely recommend, you know, to take down the passing one or two and pop it into dribbling. Um, and then maybe, you know, you could put one into there, you could put one into aerial strength, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, but I do think that that is probably the best way to go with him. Like for these two boys, you are making the decision whether you want to actually train up the finishing, if you're going to be shooting a lot. I would say 90% of people don't shoot from outside the box anyway. So, you know, if you are using stunning shots, then it's more about kicking power and just about the actual stunning shot animation. So let me know what you guys think. I'll be back soon. That's just three training guides. Um, hopefully talk through as best as possible. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.